Good morning. Wow, this is really cool. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to uh, our Chief Education Officer, Ms. Yolanda Gongora, and our Deputy Chief Education Officer, Ms. Cecilia Ramirez-Smith. Good morning to Ms. Allison Parker, the UNICEF country representative. Thank you so much for being here. Allison is always a wonderful support for us. Good morning, Mrs. Tillett. Thank you for your partnership. The support of the PUC has been instrumental in making today a reality. Welcome to our friends and colleagues, our visiting delegation from CXC. It's great to have you guys here. I know this was not something you anticipated when we planned the trip, but it's wonderful to have you be part of this event with us. And all of you, teachers, friends, girls, good morning. And yeah, I'm, I'm really so, I can't explain to you, Namrita was right. It's fantastic to look out and see all of you here. So, once upon a time, there lived a girl in a small but beautiful country of Belize. She lived with her family. Her family was not quite like families that she would read about in books or see on TV. She went to school. She did all the things she was supposed to do. But sometimes, she didn't know how to answer when people asked her, what do you want to be when you grow up? You see, sometimes people have preconceived ideas of things girls should do, or the way that girls should be, even the way that girls do things. Hi, Erin. Hi. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you some actions to do. I just do the first thing that comes to mind. Show me what it looks like to run like a girl. Oh, my hair. Oh my Show me what it looks like to fight like a girl. <laughs> People also have really different ideas of what it means to be like a girl. Sometimes this little girl was confused. One nursery rhyme says, little girls are made of sugar and spice and everything nice. So does that mean that if you act like a girl, you have to be sweet? You have to be quiet? I mean, is it a bad thing to be like a girl? Is like a girl a good thing? Actually, I don't know what it really, if it's a bad thing or a good thing. It sounds like a bad thing. It sounds like you're trying to humiliate someone. It's no wonder that our little girl was confused. Today, we're here to stand up and to stand together for her, our little girl, and with her. Today is celebrated across the world as Girls in ICT Day. And it may be the first time that you're ever really hearing about this, but I can promise you it won't be the last. Today we're taking this time to focus on girls and to encourage your interest in information and communications technology for reasons that matter today and tomorrow. The most recent data that we have shows that the ratio of boys and girls in schools in Belize is almost 50-50 in preschool, in primary school, and in secondary school. It changes dramatically at the sixth form and the university level when it becomes closer to 70% girls and 30% boys, except for technical and vocational education and training when it's reversed then it's like 70% boys and 30% girls. And I see some of you are shaking your heads, so you know I'm not lying. I'm not making this up, it's true. What this means, it's just like what Mrs. Tillett said just now. Our girls are becoming better educated. More and more, girls are becoming more educated than boys. But it's interesting to note that even though they are more educated, the girls, the women, 
are still more likely to be unemployed today in this country. At that same event that Mrs. Tillett mentioned just now, the president of UB gave this story. He said every day at UB, he sees boys in bicycles walk their girls to school and then come back and pick them up. The boys are on bikes, but the girls are registered. The boys don't register. Girls are becoming more and more educated, but they're still not becoming more and more employed. We're working to address this. This government has been putting special focus on programs that will support women in employment, especially helping them with their own small business. But for us, from the Ministry of Education, Culture, Science, and Technology, we have recognized that in order for Belize and Belizeans to become more fully engaged in the fourth industrial revolution, we have to pay attention to the skills that are now needed in the workplace and we have to prepare students to meet those needs. Students like you. And you know what kinds of skills we need? We need communication, teamwork, digital abilities, critical thinking, ethics, problem solving, creativity, time management. These are things that employers are asking for. These are things that we can build. You know what ICT work involves? All of those skills. You know what we will see today from all of you girls? Evidence of those skills. This is an important, an important element of the competency-based education that we've been talking about, that we're moving toward in our schools. I'm sure in your schools you hear about this. Our teachers know about this. Learning is more than content. Learning is also about developing the right attitudes, the right values, the right competencies, so that you can be successful at whatever you do. So today is really exciting for our team at MOECST, and, and it's exciting for our government. Our minister, Honorable Francis Fonseca, and our minister of state, Honorable Louise Avenet, both send their good wishes for you all today. They're missing out, and they know it. Sometimes girls just don't want to have fun. Sometimes we get to wake, make our work be fun. And today is one of those days. So it, it, it's a girl thing today. That girl in my Once Upon a Time fairy tale, her name could be Gloria, or Amber, or Daisy, or Miriam, or Olivia, or Eileen, or Lucy, or Charlize, or Leah, or Kaylee, you're all out there. She could be any one of you, any one of us. It's no accident that everyone who is speaking to you today is a grown-up girl. It's no accident that the people who will be on the floor to work with you are interns from UB, are grown-up girls. We were all where you are today not quite sure of what we want to be when we grow up, knowing what we are interested in, but not sure where that's going to take us, trying to figure out how these classes really matter, how they'll help us later in life. Today, as we join with people across the world to encourage and to celebrate girls in ICT, we want you to think, really think, about what like a girl means. What advice do you have to young girls who are told they run like a girl, kick like a girl, hit like a girl, swing like a girl? Keep doing it, because it's working. If somebody else says that running like a girl or kicking like a girl or shooting like a girl is something that you shouldn't be doing, that's their problem. Because if you're still scoring and you're still getting to the ball on time and you're still being first, you're doing it right. It doesn't matter what they say. I mean, yes, I kick like a girl, and I swim like a girl, and I walk like a girl, and I wake up in the morning like a girl, because I am a girl. And that is not something that I should be ashamed of. So I'm going to do it anyway. That's what they should do. If I asked you to 
to run like a girl now, would you do it differently? I would run like myself. Would you like a chance to redo it? Today and every day, girls, make the most of every opportunity to learn and to develop your skills. Understand that life skills are as important as textbook skills. Write your own story and do it like a girl. Have a great day.